Three shots already, make it four as Bardis inside the rebound is in! And again, the Tigers, a quick 2-0 lead here in the opening period. Somebody got a rebound inside. It looks like it's going to be Eric Meehlin, the freshman out of Grand Forks, North Dakota, for Meehlin, goal number three. Well, starts with Taylor for Dune getting a shot on goal, and Meehlin heading to the net, getting that, doing that dirty work, Ralph. There's the shot on goal. Meehlin digging for the puck, finds the empty net. Can't blame Bartis on that one. Here's the shot one more time. A little deflection there in front of the net, but Milan finding the, the rebound and banging it home. Two zip Tigers. Only being down 2 nothing. It could be 3-4, maybe 5 by now. Arhantis, oh, nice lead for Mignowski. Zadeo lets it go. He'll score. Mike Zadeo set up from Magnowski and the Tigers on a power play rush have taken a 3 nothing. What a lead. blast there to the short side. There's nothing Garrett Bartis could do about that, Ralph. That's a definitely danger zone when it comes to scoring. He just let that one go from about probably 30 feet, 35 feet out in front of the net. Here it is on the replay. Nice pass. Short side, big screen. I, th I don't think Bartis ever saw it. Take a look at it again here. Nice little pass from Magnowski. Bang. Short side. Didn't see it at all. Crutched by Zadeo. Well, Zadeo, he had them all lined up. Got about half of them. That's two big bodies hitting the boards. Sapke shorthanded in tight. It's deflected in. Sapke, a beautiful pass, and Eric Meeland has his second goal of the period. What a pass by Zapke. You're right there. Just a still shorthanded goal you were talking about. Shorthanded tries. Everything's working well for the Princeton Tigers right now. Eric Meelan going to the net, making a nice little de deflection off the pass. There it is again. Zabke sees him, actually. Ralph there makes a nice deflection, top shelf. Bartis was very surprised with this one. Yep, top shelf with that one. Great deflection pass. Uh, I think we saw some dust come off there. That's, that's how I thought that fuck got out there. Dust well, that's older than me? <laughs> uh, oh, there's Eric Meelan, second goal tonight. Uh, having, <laughs> he's having a great game. It's only one period. At a Grand Forks, North Dakota. He was a finalist for the state's Mr. Hockey Award as a senior, and the scouting report on him holds true. A great shorthanded player. It now, how hard is it to kind of shake off the rust after not playing for 15 games? Well, you know, the, uh, the focus has been a little off of hockey in the last couple weeks. We had finals period, but uh, we definitely tried to keep up with our hockey and uh, show this first period. We had a great first period. Zane was playing well in net, and uh, every line, I think, had a goal, so it was, uh, it was a fun period. Now talk to me about your two goals. How exciting is that for you as a freshman to make such an impact in the game? It definitely helps out uh, the momentum of the game. We needed to start off the second half of the season with a, a good start, and uh, it felt good to get two goals. You know, it was a couple of good plays by uh, Sam Sapke and, and Taylor Perdue, actually, uh, to give me a pretty pretty easy scoring chance on, on both of them. So uh, it was just great to get two. Now I have to ask you, as a freshman, how did your uh, exams go at Princeton? It was a new experience. It was uh, it was fun. They went better than I than I had hoped. So, uh, no complaints. All right, well that's good. All right. I mean, short side, had eyes all the way through the traffic in front of it. But Bob, I'll tell you, I wouldn't want to get in front of that shot. Then it was Meeland again, short-handed. Look at Sam Zapke. Zapke was looking for him, and Meeland put the backhand deflection up high. That's a tough play to make, but he showed a goal scorer's touch. Hey guys, well Princeton senior Dan Bartlett is up for the Hobie Baker Award this year. The Hobie Baker Award is a very prestigious award given to the top American college hockey player every year. Like the Heisman Trophy, it's the biggest honor you can receive when in college. And he is the only one out of both of these teams be nominated to receive this award. Now you can actually go to HobieBaker.com and vote for who you think should win this award. So it's a little different than other ones in other sports. But a very cool thing that he has the chance to win. Back over to you guys. Well, speaking of scoring, here's another potential candidate. Welcome back, Cam McIntyre from Injury, the captain. Buries a goal here on the power play, 14 seconds into the second. Uh, the power play continues well for the Tigers. But you're right, Cam McIntyre gets a one-time pass here. Right in the middle of the slot, finds the five hole there. But all three guys, I believe Bartlett and Meehlin, touch that puck as well as McIntyre finishing it off. Reverse it, but if you can spend your money just on a goalie, as this one is deflected in front, and it looks like it's going to be Magnowski. Perhaps off the stick of UConn's Matt Miller. In any event, it's a 6-1 Princeton lead. I think Sadeo blasted for the point, but I think Miller, the defenseman for UConn, might have deflected. We're going to have to look at the replay on this one, Ralph. Might have hit Magnowski, but I believe it's Miller. 
Good work behind the net by the Tigers. I think it's Arantes is going to get it to the point here. And watch the shot, Ralph. But I, I'm pretty sure Miller, number eight. He looked up like he did something wrong. Senior captain, Cam McIntyre. Now, we talked about you're the only captain left on the ice right now. So what's that been like in a leadership role? Well, it's, uh, it's a little different, but uh, we have a lot of leaders, a lot of senior leaders on our team. So it's a little easier to, you know, handle, you know, carry the load when uh, when those guys are out because we've got so many guys in the room that can do it too, you know. So. Now, you guys had off for 15 days. You're coming out strong tonight, so you have to be happy with the way maybe this last leg of the season is going to look for you guys. Yeah, it's always uh, a little worrisome when you have that long a break off, but you just try and work hard. And uh, I think it's it showed up tonight that it was good rest, and we, we needed it. We had enough injured guys that some guys got back and are healthy, so we look like we got a bit of jump tonight, which is nice. Right. Mark Magnowski trying to finesse it through for Cam McIntyre. First time, I believe, tonight those two have been playing on a line. And McIntyre trying to turn his way through Waterstrat and left it behind for Meehlin. McIntyre working hard, shovels to himself. Godlewski, the defenseman, pinches. Then the shot, then the turnaround goes for Cam McIntyre. Oh. What a shot through traffic, putting it through a defenseman and through Bardis. Oh, boy. All that work by McIntyre behind and that back and forth and coming all the way to the top of the circle there. And what a shot, Ralph. Just a quick wrist shot here. Not much time taken, through the legs, found the right side, poor Bartis, he couldn't see it because there was a Tiger screen him in front. But what a great shot here by Cam McIntyre. What a way to come back, like I said a little earlier, that's two goals for McIntyre. You can see how they miss his physical presence and his strength. Gotcha, you've been, you've been raving about his thighs, and I mean that in a good way. Oh yeah, he's, uh, he's definitely built like a truck out there, and uh, he needs, like I said, he needs to get into games like this to get, get the season. Let's take one more look at it for McIntyre. Uh, great one-timer there, Ralph. Good pass by Meehlin from the corner, but a good one-timer, but as I said a little earlier, McIntyre's going to get a little bit of the cobwebs, so he hasn't played for a long time. And it's worked back, McIntyre shoveling off to himself in a race up top with Bergen. McIntyre will get him. In front, it goes. Meehlin has his fourth. McIntyre again setting up the freshman. You want to talk about showing straight. Take a look at Cam McIntyre in that goal there, Ralph. He, he outskated the UConn D, leaned on him like he was not even there. Take a look at this down the board. Finds Milan in front of the net. And Milan with four goals. Boy, I wish I had a day like that. Incred incredible. This is the earlier goal on the deflection by Milan. Yep, it did go off his pants there, Ralph. No question about it. Well, when Cam McIntyre checks out the tape. Eric Meehlin is going to have to buy him lunch. He's going to have to buy him a whole lot of lunch. <laughs> kind of the sandwiches you like to eat back in Pittsburgh. It's kind of like to eat now. 